A man who is his own lawyer has a fool for a client. We've all heard that expression. We are not suited to represent ourselves in a court of law. And I think that same approach to life can be applied in a lot of other situations as well. For instance, we are not best suited to be our own preacher or pastor. Even if you are a preacher or pastor, you need someone else to speak that word of God to you. Because we're very bad as fallen humanity. We're very bad at self-diagnosis. We're we, we tend to elevate the minor to the major, and we tend to take that which is a major concern and put it of a minor importance. Now, a great example of this is one of the stories from the life of Jesus, Matthew chapter 9. A paralytic is brought to Jesus. Now, it might be obvious what this man needs more than anything else is to be healed physically, right? But no, the very first words that Jesus speaks to him are these, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. Jesus knew what this man needed more than anything else forgiveness of sins. Now, afterward, he healed the man, but he gave him, first of all, that which he needed more than anything else, forgiveness, reconciliation with his heavenly father. Same with all of us. We have a lot of struggles in this life. We have a lot of physical, psychological relationship issues, and I'm not saying those are not important. They are, but our greatest need more than anything else is to be reconciled to God in Jesus Christ, to receive forgiveness from Jesus. And that is what he gives us first and foremost, that greatest gift, forgiveness. And then we pray that he will give us all these other gifts as well. But keep the major over the minor.